Hi, I'm Dr. Rubina Shanavas, consultant gynecologist at Motherhood Hospitals, Bangalore. Uh, how is pelvic floor dysfunction treated will depend on again which is the organ producing the symptom and what how severe are the symptoms. So if it is something related to the urinary bladder that uh, sorry the first line of treatment would usually be pelvic floor exercises but these are more uh, effective as a preventive strategy or in the very initial stages when it will actually help. But later, it is surgical option which will help. So, if it is a stress urinary incontinence, then we uh, advise um, securing the urethral muscle with a tape, like a trans, a tension-free transvaginal or a transobturator tape. If it is a uterine descent, then again, it depends on the age of the patient and the desire to retain the uterus or take away the uterus. So, if it's a younger patient, we put in a tape through laparoscopy and anchor the uterus to the backbone where, which is called a hysteropexy or if it's an older patient and postmenopausal a hysterectomy is done removal of the uterus following which we uh, make sure that the whatever is remaining also doesn't descend and cause prolapse later which is called as vault prolapse and if it is a bubble prolapse then that is repaired accordingly with a mesh